Good morning. Well, if you recognise this building behind me, you know where I am. I quite often say, you know, to hit less club off the tee, perhaps only hit it 190, 200 yards. But what if 200 yards is all you got with your driver because you're uh, a fraction older than me? Well, let's go and find out. Well, if you're new to my channel, you may not recognise the course. It is the Rolls of Monmouth, which is rather a special place. It also has some of the toughest greens I know. So playing today is myself, five handicap, 250 yard-ish drive. And Neville, 16 handicap, 190 yard-ish drive depending obviously on wind, elevation, and the firmness of the fairway. So with a wide opening fairway, I can take driver. Then we go to the second, we're back into the wind, but it's a relatively short hole, and I only want to get to the top of the hill. So three wood is my choice. Where I find just how tight this fairway can be if you're a little offline. Just trying to pitch out down towards the green, not do anything stupid, like thin it into the tree root. Okay. But the smart thing to do here is just knock it in the middle of the green and give yourself the chance of that par. That's the ideal thing to do. The flag was a little behind the bunker, so leave it alone. That's the smart thing. Quite often when you do the smart thing, you do have that opportunity of making a par. Good par. I'm lucky. Needed a bit more, didn't it? Just a shade. One of the interesting features on this uh, zero in rangefinder is you can measure the height of trees. This tree down the left is 26 yards tall, taller than my eye line, so I don't think I'm getting over the top of it with my three wood. Neville will take over here, and with this dog leg, 190 Shot. to 200 yards is all you need. Run out, run, run, perfect. And we're out in the middle of the fairway. Only 160 to go. Nine wood in, right down the pipe. And with a stroke, he's here in one. So thank you very much, Net Birdie. Who says that a 200 yard drive isn't long enough? Well, this is where a rangefinder really comes into its own. First par three on the course, and there's a dip in front, and you can't even see the front of the green. There's dead ground, which makes the green appear closer to you. But this green is exceptionally long, so you need to know where the flag is. You really do. You can't just guess at it and use the tee markers. Down the wind, so this is just a six iron. And it is a long green. You do need to shoot it with a laser because you can't see much of the front of the green. And it always looks like it's closer to you. But don't tell me you're a short hitter and you can't compete. 467, not a long par 5, but it is back into the wind. So it's going to play a fair bit longer especially when you stick it out there. When you're in bother, get out of bother. This is just a shut face seven iron. Hit a little low hook around the tree, get back on the fairway. That's the smart thing to do. Rather than trying to hit a longer club. And once you're back on the fairway, then you can attack the rest of the hole. Into the breeze, clubbed up. Hey, 
Yeah, sure. So. On the dance floor, despite a poor tee shot and despite having to chip and run out of trouble, Come on, Simon. I had the birdie Come chance if I could hit it. it. Which I failed to do. Take a part, though, after all the rubbish I've been left edge of the fairway. Now, when you come to holes with big contours, the short hitter is most definitely at a disadvantage. I can go driver, I can get right to the top of the rise. Sure. There's no doubt a 190 shooter and into this breeze, probably only going 170 is going to be in trouble on 407 yards. But who do you think wins the hole? Shot. Just hold there, just hold. Stay down. That's perfect. Oh. Oh, yeah. Ran off the side of the green. Got a really awkward pitch up on. That's done rather well, but it is above the hole. Now I have got a huge break, downhill, fast. But we just had some of that Welsh weather and it just hasn't got there. Neville for bogey. Net par, thank you very much. I got this for the half. And this is what I was afraid of. Oh. The first putt. When it starts going down this hill at the front of the green, it just goes and goes and goes. So my club choice from the fairway of four iron was wrong. I should have left myself something uphill where I could two putt rather than four putt from back there. Par five down the wind. Oh, you clown. And here's where I have most definitely got the advantage here. I can hit it higher, I can hit it further, I can get more of the slope. And run on a long way. Smart golf here, seven iron chip and run. Under the branches, use the slope, get some more yards out of it, perfect. I've got elevation, I've got wind behind. There's plenty of hazards down there, but there is no need to lay up. If you think you can do it, That's do it. Lovely looking shot. Neville playing his third, same again. If you think you can do it, do it. Kick left. Despite left. the hazards. Left, left. Pop it out in the bunker. Well, I'll now we're both on the green in three. I'm lucky. Very long putt down the hill. Very difficult to judge. Steams it by. Right. You're going in. Yes, you are. Not if you push it. Net par for Neville. I've got a birdie putt. Oh. I get a par. So we're all square on this hole. Despite the huge difference in length of the tee, the handicaps equalise the situation. Off to the par three. Turn again. I hit the green. Yeah, good thin, The slope Shot. takes it off to the left. 
uh, I should be taking. That one's got a couple more clubs than me. Shoves it out to the right, which is a good place to be. And it bounces in. <laughs> See the difference in clubs? Come on, The come difference on. in length doesn't really matter that much. If you've got three times the handicap, use it. Get it. Get it. That's what it's there for. Far for me. Thank you. What do you see? Thank you very much. Neville's got a shot. This is for a net one. Oh. Say these greens don't forgive you. So it's just a net two. Now the ninth. I want to get this out to the left. I want to get on a piece of land that is the same height as the green. I'm usually down the right, firing over that bunker. You can't see anything here, even though it is rough. I feel I've got a better chance. Tenth hole, stroke index nine, uphill, dog leg right to left. I've certainly got the advantage of length in being able to get up the hill. Oh, I love that shot, Tracer. Isn't it bloody awful? Blocked out. Now I'm not. I'm going to bail out right. Done the best he could. I've got a shot at the green. On the dance floor, not far away. 50 yards. Pitch it up. Into the bunker. Ooh, you lucky Just short. So. But it's a good place to be because it's under the hole. My birdie putt, look how much I've had to borrow, and it still wasn't enough, it still dives down the low side. Thank goodness we've had a bit of rain, that could have been long gone. So I walk off with the par, Neville's got this for a net par, so despite the difference in length, the handicaps equalise the score. I'll tell you what's been handy today. That's the big magnet on this. Yeah. I haven't had to go rooting around in my back trying to find it. Number 11. Now I've hit driver the last two times here just for the camera. I wouldn't hit driver in a competition so I'm definitely not gonna hit driver when I'm trying to play smart golf. So instead of blasting driver for the camera today, I'm gonna play the hole properly. So it's hybrid, or perhaps a four iron for me, right. down onto the flat bit. Then it's just a wedge. I only used driver for a bit of fun when I was on camera. But this is the way I play the hole when I got a card in my hand on a Golf Society day. I uh, wish I could put a little bit better than that. And here comes the weather again. Par 5. Pretty wide. I can take advantage of my length. I even get a shot on this one. Lovely good drive, ball. but obviously considerably shorter. Three wood, out in the clear, can see the green for the third shot. 
Me? Well, I wish I hadn't Miss Seven Wood with me. I meant to bring it and forgot. So it's five wood and I failed to get the height. So I've gone through the tree rather than the over the tree. Clear shot at the green. Although I wish he'd played yeah, just, just for the front edge, like I, I mentioned. Like just get it to the front. Because that doesn't hold. And I'm completely out of position. 47 yards. I think I got it about halfway. I went clean underneath it. Bunker shot. Play the contours of the green. Yeah, beautiful shot. And that's run round to about three feet. What a great shot. Oh, no. Couple of stabs from behind the tree. Shame really, because it hurt his score. That's for a six. Down for seven. Net six. Wow, that dived. It did, didn't it? So if we were playing a match here, that hole was a half. Coming downhill, I've got the advantage of using more loft, more stop. That looks lovely. But that's about it. I don't have well, any other advantage. It it. And I'd be giving a shot in a match. So I would most certainly be at a disadvantage, oh, even though my opponent shot. is using two more clubs than me. See, being a short hitter doesn't really hurt you that much. Sure, if we're playing a scratch competition, I'm going to beat you. If we're playing handicap competition, or match play, where I'm giving shots, it all gets equalised. Just a bit high. So I don't really want to hear, I only hit it 190 yards, I've got to use my driver. There's many an old guy who hits it 190 to 200 yards. Oh. No, that's a drive. That's a drive and a half. Who can all. show a clean pair of heels to a youngster who hits it 275 in the trees. Like I know. Because as a younger man, I kept oh, yeah. losing to them. Actually, I still do, because I don't have enough shots. Fifteen is stroke index one. We're going back down the wind now. So it's just a three wood for me. And I think for the first time in my life, I've hit it exactly in the right direction with exactly the right amount of draw. I've got Neville here, no Shot. doubt, with his short hitting driver. A hundred and eighty four. No. That's a long way out. I tried to belt that. Lazy hands. I've kept that under the hole. That's exactly where I want to be on this green. It's a nightmare. That's gone long. That's an even bigger nightmare. But it's so hard to put on these greens. It is so steep. I can't get it anywhere near the hole. Neville from the other side, well, he can't get it anywhere near the hole either. But what I hope you can see here, throughout the holes that we're playing together, is the difference between 190 yards and 250 yards, when equalised by the handicap, is virtually nil. The only difference between us today is the fact that I know the golf course, <laughs> although it doesn't look like it, and a little bit of chipping and putting. 
The difference between us is exactly what you think it would be. That's the scoring end. Not the driving end. Because the driving end is equalised by the number of strokes you get. I can't take advantage of any length here. I've got to use a three wood. There's a ditch across. Driver's going to go in it. So there are plenty of holes where the longer hitter's length is nullified by what's on the golf hole. And of course, if you give the driver shot for free, I'm 111 yards in one, and Neville's 35, 40 yards away in one. That's how it all gets equalised. You get a shot for free. How do you fancy this one? Stay down throughout the entire shot nail your chin to your shoes and stay down. Not great, but it's out. And that's all you want out of something like that. But as I say, the main difference between us today was my familiarity with the golf course, the chipping and the putting on these greens. In fact, we finished two Stableford points apart. That was it. So whether you are short or long off the tee, if you've got the strokes, you can equalize all that length to your playing partners so, so easily. Cheerio. Well played, thank you very much.